Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we have Nikhil. Actually, I know him for almost four years now. Actually, he was my first roommate when I came to Germany. We just came and uh, we were so shocked to see like the kind of interest we have. We used to play a lot of games. We used to do a lot of cooking and uh, yeah, it was such a nice experience for us. But today uh, he is going to share his experiences of uh, how he came and uh, where he is working and what he does. And he is going to show some energy and give some, some tips. So thanks a lot Nikhil for coming. It's my pleasure. So yeah. Let's listen what he has to say. It was a very quick decision that I took uh, when I was doing uh, my bachelor's. I was in last semester and I was doing my bachelor thesis. And uh, it happened to me that uh, one of my friend, uh, we decided to learn a foreign language together. And uh, it was accidentally German. So when I started learning, uh, learning the language, uh, through the process of uh, learning, I came to know various advantages of learning or doing my master's here in Germany and uh, got various uh, opportunities for uh, scholarships and uh, different uh, courses that they are uh, giving here in Germany. So I thought, why not uh, give it a try because my passion was also in in the field of uh, energy efficiency and uh, that's how I applied here in Germany. The course I studied uh, was energy conversion and management. It was a combination of mechanical and process engineering. Uh, there was a lot of study uh, of uh, different types of energy sources and how do we generate energy out of them, um, how do we have uh, energy trading in Germany and uh, energy markets here in Germany. It was more practical related course uh, since it was done on an applied science university and uh, it helped me a lot in understanding uh, various parts of uh, energy sector here how, how, how they work in Germany. The thing I liked most about the course was uh, its practical approach. So it was not uh, focused only on theory or solving numericals, solving questions and all. It was uh, mainly based on uh, practical experiences. Uh, so that's how you get your concepts uh, thorough and that's how you are uh, taught uh, and uh, that's what I loved about this course. My university is uh, located in a very small town, I would say. It's, it's not a very big town. And uh, mainly 60 to 65,000 people and most of them are students uh, since it's a university place. And uh, I loved it. It's, uh, I used to live in not exactly in the downtown, a uh, bit outskirts, so people there were very good, uh, very friendly, had very nice experiences, met very good people uh, and had a very good time along with them. So I started I, when I was in third semester, as I mentioned before, it was more practical uh, approach course that I was studying. So I started looking for an internship and also master thesis and uh, I sc scrutinized some of the companies that were uh, giving opportunities in this uh, field of education that I was pursuing and uh, I felt uh, Procter & Gamble had a mix of both uh, technical and as well as management uh, knowledge for the application purpose. And uh, that's how I landed into Procter & Gamble for my internship. There I continued with my master thesis and as soon as my master thesis was done, uh, they offered me a job. Uh, so when I started working, I actually worked on uh, 
finding feasible solutions for renewable energies for uh, self producing uh, the energy for the production plant uh, in Krylsheim that we have uh, I had various uh, encounters with different types of uh, renewable energies uh, that I studied for example wind energy solar energy etc and uh, I was trying to develop a solution for them uh, that would enable them to completely uh, fulfill their electricity demand via renewable energies uh, and after this uh, assignment uh, I switched to uh, process engineer uh, job where I am responsible for different processes on the line to optimize them uh, make sure that the production line runs at the uh, maximum possible efficiency without unplanned downtimes uh, this makes uh, sure that we have uh, optimum energy consumption on the line uh, not only energy consumption but also compressed air which is one of the costliest uh, energy uh, in, in Germany It's a very huge sector here currently in Germany since uh, everyone is trying to uh, give their hand in uh, reducing the carbon emissions, in uh, uh, producing their products or having uh, their services in a more renewable way so that they have very less impact uh, on, on environment uh, and um, I would say the energy sector in Germany would really transform or is really on on a verge of transformation uh, from non-renewable uh, energy to renewable energy they have there are very big companies uh, big players here who are uh, building very huge uh, wind power plants uh, also in sea uh, as well as uh, very big solar power plants uh, not only this, uh, there have been uh, a lot of research going on in the field of uh, electrolysis, uh, electrolyzers, uh, which is hydrogen as power. So, fueling, producing electricity with uh, electrolyzers, fuel cells, uh, with the combination of solar energy. Uh, and this is a really, or any uh, form of renewable energy, and this is a very booming. Uh, topic here of risk for research as well as for uh, pursuing as a as a career uh, in a, in a company uh, you get lots of opportunities uh, if you have the right qualifications uh, and uh, right background you are uh, in the right place. Uh, let, let, let's not focus on job. Uh, when you are coming to Germany, where which is a German spoken country, it is mandatory that you are able to speak German. Why? Is you are trying to interact with people, trying to gather information, to uh, to build yourself, to get somewhere where you wish to. And uh, in this process, where I see a process from developing as a student, where you arrive and you start working as a professional. This phase of your life is very important and uh, I, f I think personally that if you are having a good basic German knowledge as you come here, uh, it helps a lot. It helps you to grow your soft skills, it helps you to grow your technical skills and uh, of course when you get uh, look, when you are looking for an internship or a job or, or a thesis for that sake, uh, it's a very important skill to have because uh, most of the times you might have vendors that they are German so your company might be small way which you are targeting but still having good uh, reputation and they are basically based only in Germany. So this is a very uh, critical skill to have if you are able to communicate with Ger in German and have technical uh, base also in German language then uh, it's like an icing on the cake.
when I came, I came on uh, Schengen visa. It's like normal. You are allowed to travel all around Europe. It's a student visa you get uh, in the starting. Usually you get it for six months and then you come here as a student and you get extended. Uh, you can extend it. Uh, whereas once you start working, uh, your student visa gets converted into blue card. Uh, this blue card means you are allowed to work in the company uh, till you have contract with this company uh, you can work in Germany as soon as you don't have contract with the company your work permit is uh, not valid and uh, you have a time of around um, 18 months to get a new job or else you need to go back to your country. When you are trying to come to Germany, what's important is uh, not which university you want to get into actually because uh, there are lots of universities, very good universities that uh, provide you with a very good courses. Uh, what is very important thing uh, when you come to Germany is uh, you need to know which studies you want to mas have masters into. So for example, uh, if you have decided, okay, I would uh, do my master's in process engineering or manufacturing industry or let's say energy sector, then uh, you have a very uh, narrow search uh, and your efforts are reduced drastically. Uh, and that's what it's all about. It's about uh, being smart and uh, reducing your efforts so that you also get time for uh, other activities which you are doing you don't have to only concentrate on only applying for masters in Germany uh, side by side you can do your language courses uh, side by side you can do your uh, extracurricular activities or for that sake bachelor thesis if you are in uh, if you are pursuing bachelors at that time and uh, a very typical myth uh, that uh, people have is uh, you need to have work experience to get into Germany it's it's not a must myself I have I had no work experience before coming to Germany and uh, it, it worked perfectly I mean uh, you just need to have will uh, to achieve something and uh, I would say uh, if you have uh, the right goal if you have the right choices uh, it's always easy to apply for for the courses if you are if you know the passion uh, it's easy to write your letter of motivation it's just uh, converting your converting your passion into words so basically to reduce your efforts and narrow down your uh, stress i would say just go look which course you would like to study which field of study you would like to enter and then start looking for universities that give or provide that course and once this is done then it's it gets easy for you just to make choices like you get offer letters from three of the universities one two three and you know which uh, go to the curriculum course curriculum see what are your interests bang there you are you don't have lots of efforts no i mean uh, I, I did not face any racism here because uh, it comes down to yourself how, how, how you react to situations how you interact with people uh, how you consider your uh, colleagues talking to you or how you move around in uh, in the city or anywhere it, it basically everything comes down to you if you take someone criticizing you as racism then no you are in a wrong place because here people are direct you will get criticism how to take it as constructive criticism it's up to you and uh, if someone if someone says something to you and think oh because i am not german uh, he's saying me this no it's not like that you just need to be positive and uh, keep working and keep doing what you like doing Life in Germany, it's a very, very interesting topic. Uh, I, I, I like here, uh, not for the purpose of uh, just enjoying, but uh, it's not European culture, I would say, but 
things are different here so working culture is totally different uh, the living standards are totally different and moreover work life balance is very good uh, i would say because uh, apart from working i am also doing a lot of sports uh, i can i have time for my hobbies uh, i have time for uh, traveling around the world uh, or let's say europe for now uh, and uh, yes i mean uh, it's it's kind of fun uh, yes of course you miss your family you you miss your close friends from uh, india uh, or where i come from definitely and uh, but you have to lose something in order to gain something it's it's a balance you should find yourself uh, the technology has gone very far uh, you have means to catch up if you are planning to come to germany don't wait when is the right time now i would say all the best and uh, in case of questions you know whom to contact hey guys thanks a lot for watching so and thanks a lot nikhil for uh, sharing uh, your expertise and your wisdom i hope it will be useful for people out there if you want more contents like this please do write in the comments below so guys as always if you like the content please like share and subscribe <laughs> now in marathi jar he tumhala awadla asel tar kay karaycha like share and subscribe so thanks a lot for watching guys until next time like this please like share and subscribe <laughs> <laughs>